Hi, how are you doing Capricorn? This is your reading for the week of August 9th to August 15th. I really hope this reading resonates. I hope you can get something from this reading. Uh, let's get into your reading. What does Capricorn need to know for the week of August 9th to August 15th? card are uh, you crossing out a cycle however um it's feeling it's making you feel a sense of abandonment causing you to feel some sort of pain in terms of you feeling some sense of loss you might have been feeling like you got defeated in a situation um might have been feeling like maybe you got downplayed however it comes there's some pain attached to this in terms of like uh, mental stress you feel like whatever you might be trying uh you have to try hard or just whatever you might be trying is not really coming to fruition however i feel like that's because maybe if something is not for you it's not truly for you you have to close it out and with the knight of pentacles wherever you might be wanting to invest in whatever ideas that might be coming through whatever directions you might be thinking of i feel like right now is to take a pause you know um maybe focus on your feelings uh i get some energy of uh you might be having some people around you who you might not be paying attention or you who you might not be investing in because they really see you being work determined however with the seven of cups coming in reverse i get a strong energy of um maybe you know maybe take some time and be emotionally present you know at the same time you could be in a situation that's draining you uh emotionally you feel exhausted and uh it's making you maybe not focus on work however right now uh let me see what does capricorn need to know you could be having uh your worries about something you are waiting to come to completion or you you wanting it to come to life you might be reminiscing about memories of your past could be past connections who you might have lost along the way. What does Capricorn need to know? You could be feeling emotionally exhausted or you could be uh maybe going out more than often i get a feeling with the three of cups you could be trying to enjoy yourself maybe you've been working too hard maybe you've been digging your head through work and if that's the case i see you putting your work on pause to truly enjoy your setting your dynamic the environment you might be in however you're coming to a chapter close you know like i said you're closing out a cycle what does uh, Capricorn need to know? Uh, I get an energy of uh, you might be traveling, you might be um, uh, heading for new lands, new energies, new territories, or just your energy is becoming a bit more vast. You could be opening up gates to more opportunities to flow in. You could be, you know, feeling a bit more free. Uh, just ending cycles to bring in new ones. And these new ones that are coming in, they bring in a lot. And uh, what you're being advised right now to do is kind of like hold, put your work on pause for quite a bit. And maybe uh, invest in situations or invest in options around you. Let, let the options, you know, just be playful for quite a bit. 
because the energy I'm getting is like somebody who's about to travel and maybe you've been on a business trip and all you've been doing is just walking, walking, walking and that trip is coming to an end and you know, your, your flight is about to come in for you to go to new lands, new adventures, new missions to take on new courses of life. And uh, it's kind of like this whole time you've been maybe walking, you've been truly walk determined with the night. I see that fire within you just truly focusing on your pentacle. And maybe it's about time you start, you know, loosening up quite a bit, you know. Have new inspirations because you're having offers coming in for you. Um, also build memories. Ace of Swords, um, maybe whatever uh, opportunity that might be coming in for you right now might not be a, a good idea to make a decision right off the bat. With the Ace of Swords, I'm strongly getting an energy of um, maybe hold back, you know. Uh, if it comes to a situation where uh, you have to be brave and courageous, don't, you know, I feel like... Maybe you're not mentally ready for a situation or a connection. I feel like rather just pull back and uh, let let everything come to you. Let the world take its course. Let the blessings come for you. Uh, what you're being asked is focusing on one thing at a time. Uh, maybe as you're walking on your path, you're having new options and new um, energies coming towards you and it's kind of like don't take any action right now just, just let things fall your way you know let let people come towards you let blessing comes towards you don't be the one who engages in the conversation but make yourself open and vulnerable so that people can really slide in towards you you know it's kind of the energy of don't do a thing because things are coming for you and what's being put on pause it's um coming in even better i get an energy of seven of pentacles and the devil uh right now it might be a good time to start investing in yourself uh in long-term situations uh try to save up try to you know see what's going to last forever just what what's thinking the long term of things and with the devil i feel like you're really becoming more empowered more becoming more of yourself and that's what i'm saying you don't even have to do anything toxic situation you know it's, let me give you an example the devil toxicity especially when people people in well everybody everybody loves some toxic or just bad behaviors and everybody's attracted to that you know so don't put yourself at the front of the line don't be the brave and courageous one don't be a fucking knight just stand in the background and let things start to flow for you because what's coming in for you is something you haven't been expecting it's something that's going to take you out of um your element new scenarios new dynamics coming in it might be love maybe you've been defensive about love maybe but love is coming towards you it's kind of like don't be the brave one you know just cool off cool off for a bit you know what's coming in for capricorn in the week of august 9th to 15th i get a binary you know i, I get the same time with, uh, with your options, with the people you have around you, maybe trying to uh, invest in them. However, your work, I really need to see you being determined, or just you being really work determined. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like maybe your work is starting to pay off. You're starting to see the results of your work. You can see the achievements. You can see the blessings. You can see the time you have really put in that is coming back. That's why maybe you might be not needing to rush in in new ideas or just anything that pops in your mind. You know, you might be like, oh, that could be a cool investment. Yeah, that could be another cool thing. However, it's kind of like, no, hold off. Don't, don't, don't invest in shit like that, you know. Just go with whatever you have. Repetition makes perfection. There's a craft, there's a skill you've been working on over and over again. Keep doing that. Keep investing in that. Keep really... Uh, shining your pentacles and uh, what's gonna come out is a ten of uh pentacles just a balance a balance it might not, it might not look like long term you know it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, with the ten of pentacles it's something you have for momentous you know just seeing your success come in and you really feel excited you know seeing uh, just your achievement and the the excitement might not last you know forever just even like maybe a whole week or two but it's something you're having you know it's something you you willing you're feeling it you know it's kind of like 
you i'm getting an energy of a kid who just won a competition and um you know like that hitting of achievements and it's making you feel good you go home you flex about it and uh next day you go on with it you know just you go by your day this is what i'm getting with the ten of pentacles however it could be a financial life where you feel like uh you have hit the score or you're getting that money rolling in it's kind of like see it observe it feel it and then move on from that you know keep on working because there are better things coming in for you with the world card just learn from it you know realize what you have done what you have achieved and uh, get more you know it's got it, look it, it feels good to hit an achievement especially as a capricorn because things will try and try and try and try sometimes they end up failing and not realizing that you know maybe something's not for us however with the energy of you seeing the achievement maybe enjoy that you know maybe don't sleep on that maybe spend the whole night turning up going crazy going dummy you know just wild out but but at the same time you gotta realize there is more coming in for you it's kind of like hey be prepared don't be rushing things but live in the moment live in the moment anything uh, else capricorn needs to know S of Wands, new inspirations are coming in, um, new directions. You might have given hope. You might have given up or just given up your hope uh, in a situation. You might have uh, put something on pause, and uh, now you're feeling a new sense of uh, direction. You know, you're feeling that inspirational spark within your spark of life. You know, you feel like now you 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 have a direction you want to head in. It's kind of, it's really hard to explain it, but it's a sense of. Um, you have that determination within you again you know whatever idea or project you've been putting on the side there is that warmth that's coming in you know let's say you've been uh, working on music and maybe you put music on the side and maybe you're minding your day and that fire within you or just you listen to a beat you listen to a song it makes you like you truly wanna you truly you know you, you want something again and you get the rhymes within your head now you're like okay now i'm ready to do that you know that's that's what i'm getting in your in your, um in your energy right now however with the knight of pentacles maybe don't don't rush in don't rush things let's say you're getting that song in your head you're getting that beat within you i feel the energy of just try to learn about it trying to nurture it you know trying to to really listen it over and over again trying to get a feeling of it just because the direction that's coming in you can see the path you can see where you headed it's just the sense of um if you rush it it might not really be momentous so just it might just be for the day being however if you take your time you're going to realize the path you might be going the feelings you're feeling the feelings you're feeling today tomorrow and the next day and you're going to be able to invest in that however i see the spark being here you know it's kind of you being enlightened again in uh, your ideas or just uh, in your memory lanes is there anything else capricorn needs to know I get the ace of uh, cups i feel a uh, new relationships might be coming in for you um it's mm, yeah new relationships are coming in i feel an energy of a uh, walk away from uh past relationships past connections i feel like somebody new might be coming in for you uh you could be yeah strongly strongly getting uh, an energy of somebody might be trying to invest in you somebody might be trying to fulfill you as much as you're fulfilling them uh again an energy of investing in each other and um you might be or oh, this person who's in for you might be willing to walk a mile away from you and uh, with the knight of pentacles this could have been somebody who's been holding off their feelings you know they have something to say they have something to do uh feel an energy of maybe they might have been holding back you know holding back because well maybe they see you focused on your work or just they had something going on in their world and uh maybe they wasn't ready but um I get a sense of uh, with the Ace of Wands, something might have happened in your relationship, and uh, now it's enlightened things uh, back. If you haven't been reaching out or just if you haven't been uh, connecting with somebody, I feel like that spark is going to be coming back in this relationship, and it's going to make somebody who was investing in other situations or just who was dealing with other energies to just come back your way. You know, it's the energy of um, new love. I feel with the Empress, I feel an energy of growth in this place. You need to um, heal yourself, just 
be the one with everything in terms of uh, don't hold on to shit. You know, just realize you are the one who controls your world. You are the one who controls your realm. However, whoever who might be coming in towards you, whatever situations you might be facing, don't take it harsh. Don't take it bad. Stay in a don't, don't care, however, care for what makes you grow. However, don't care for what destroys you. Because you yourself, you make who you are. And uh, whatever you touch really turns to gold or just grows it's the energy of a divine feminine and you have the power over in your realm by you feeling better just by you holding on to shit from the past it's you being self-destructive to yourself however you healing yourself and ready to grow is going to make you really abundant and ready to move on with a six of uh six of wands in reverse i feel an energy of um you might be trying to go solo, trying to be independent. You know, um, you might be not. You might be trying not to take advice from others. Uh, you might be trying to do things your way. Um, maybe, maybe that's the energy. Oh. It's kind of like others. Are, people are trying to help you around you. However, it's the energy of I know what I'm going after, or just you're not. You're not digging what they're throwing on the table. You know, uh, Capricorns, I always get an energy of I can do it by myself. However, you know, I don't know why you would be feeling this way, you know. Maybe not feeling the mood or the energy others might be coming across you with. It's just that I'm just trying to do me, uh, focus on me, and uh, grow a side of me. You know, what you guys have going on, that's cool. It's just that I'm doing my own thing. Because at, at this point, I see you having, with the magician, having all the tools you need to uh, bring or manifest whatever you want to come to life. And uh, I think, is there anything Capricorn needs to know? Uh, justice might be coming in. You might be facing justice. Oh, uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you might be coming, you might be uh, dealing with a Libra within your life. Uh, with the justice, I strongly get an energy of balance needs to take place. Uh, with the justice and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like uh, this is somebody who's reserved, uh, who don't come off as a show off because you know maybe they care about others or they have other people in their energy. With the Queen of Pentacles, you know this person is well established. However, they're not flashy. They're not too quick to. Um, show off i feel however with the queen of pentacles also it's an energy of uh, this person might be really thinking to invest in you or not you know it's up to them it's just that they're thinking about it if you're not dealing with anybody with the justice i feel like um you need to balance out your life um maybe maybe you need to take some time for yourself you know uh Maybe because uh, with the seven of pentacles, you might be dealing with a lot of people, and uh, coming to the six of wands, it's kind of like I'm not taking your advice. You know, I'm emotionally invested in this, however, I'm not taking your advice. It's kind of like I'm playing with you, I'm fucking with you. It's just that don't don't try me. You know, don't you know. I'm not rocking with what you're putting on the table. That's the energy I'm getting. Uh, maybe trying to be solo, trying to do your own thing. You know. With the Queen of Pentacles, I see you holding on to what you have, what you offer to the world, uh, what your values are. Uh, you could be holding on to your money, your uh, physical assets, and it's kind of, um, I'm just holding on to me because I care about me. However, the overall energy is just you feeling um, responsible for yourself, feeling independent, uh, looking grolious, looking glamorous. You feeling um, like a million bucks. And it's just the energy of new cycles opening up. So the way you're starting out is um, an energy of uh, you might be coming up, you might be coming across, you might be coming across as an egocentric person, just as um, they're good on their own. And well, that's a Capricorn thing. And you're a Capricorn, so who's who who dares to take that from you? With um, with the five of wands, I feel like you could be trying to come to a resolution. Uh, you could be having an idea or just something running through your mind and uh, you're just wondering, you know, thinking multiple ways, you know, how something could be solved or how you could come up with an answer or just what paths you could take to uh, come to a conclusion. And I feel like you're going to get there. It's just that sometimes you got to see what paths are available to you so that you can really choose the best and easiest to get to where you want to go. However, new journey is opening up. Keep that in mind. Thank you, Capricorn.